When you arise in the morning, think of what a precious privilege it is to be alive, to breathe, to think, to enjoy, to love. The happiness of your life depends upon the quality of your thoughts. Therefore, guard them accordingly, and take care that you will entertain no notions unsuitable to virtue and reasonable nature. It is not death that a man should fear, but he should fear never beginning to live. Accept the fate to which fate binds you, and love the people with whom fate brings you together, but do so with all your heart. The object of life is not to be on the side of the majority, but to escape finding oneself in the ranks of the insane. Waste no more time arguing about what a good man should be. Be one. Never let the future disturb you. You will meet it, if you have to, with the same weapons of reason which today arm you against the present. Very little is needed to make a happy life. It is all within yourself, in your way of thinking. You have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this, and you will find strength. The best revenge is to be unlike him who performed the injury. The soul becomes dyed with the color of its thoughts. If it is not bright, do not do it. If it is not true, do not say it. Our life is what our thoughts make it. Nothing happens to any man that he is not formed by nature to bear. Nothing has such power to broaden the mind as the ability to investigate systematically and truly all that comes under thy observation in life. A man's worth is no greater than his ambitions. Everything that happens, happens as it should. And if you observe carefully, you will find this to be so. Life is neither good or evil, but only a place for good and evil. That which is not good for the beehive cannot be good for the bees. He who lives in harmony with himself lives in harmony with the universe. The only wealth which you will keep forever is the wealth you have given away. Loss is nothing else but change, and change is nature's delight. Here is the rule to remember in the future. When anything tempts you to be bitter, not, this is a misfortune, but to bear this worthily is a good fortune. Poverty is the mother of crime. Look back over the past with its changing empires that rose and fell, and you can foresee the future too. Time is a sort of river of passing events, as strong as its current, no sooner is a thing brought to sight than it is swept by and another takes its place, and this too will be swept away. Begin. To begin is half the work, let half still remain, and begin this, and thou wilt have finished. How much more grievous are the consequences of anger than the causes of it? The universe is transformation, life is opinion. Do every act of your life as if it were your last. I have often wondered how it is that every man loves himself more than all the rest of men, but yet sets less value on his own opinions of himself than on the opinions of others. Because your own strength is unequal to the task, do not assume that it is beyond the powers of man. But if anything is within the powers and province of man, believe that it is within your own compass also.